What is up guys? Welcome back to Dan's Reviews and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. This one is going to be doing my weekly review for this week's episode of The Walking Dead Season 10. This is of course our final episode of The Walking Dead Season 10 for, uh, well, really who knows. Uh, this is going to be uh, my review for The Walking Dead Season 10 episode 15 which is called The Tower. Prepare the guardians. We walk. What do you want? Excuse me? If I wanted to attack I'd hold the gun like this. I want to learn what you do, how to keep us safe. We've got way too many people counting on us back home. Missing this meeting isn't an option. Well, that's episode 15, guys. So, um, yeah, you know, honestly, I'm not going to pretend like I liked it when I really didn't. You know, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. I don't like to do that. So I'm just going to say I did not like this episode. Um, you know, I, I think that they really failed uh, in terms of, and it's not, you know, I want to make this clear before I even get into anything like that and before people just already hate on this video. I do not think that this was a very good episode of Walking Dead, okay? Um, I've enjoyed season 10 all the way through. I really have. It's been really, I think, well, at least the second half, I think it's been one of the best we've ever gotten. Um, but this episode failed. Honestly, it failed. Um, you know, honestly, I don't even, like, it's not because this is, a like, is the final episode, so I'm upset that it was slow or whatever. I'm just talking about a lead-up episode to the finale overall. This was a really, really bad episode to kind of lead up to the finale. Um, my hype for the finale is a bit lower now. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, this episode's weird to me. I don't know what it is. Um, so anyway, I, uh, yeah, anyway, I, I want to talk about the episode. I want to discuss it. But of course, before I do anything like that, spoiler warning, if you have not seen this episode yet, of course, we're going to delve into some spoilers. I'm going to have to say this week's episode of The Walking Dead for me was a low good. Uh, so that still means it's a good episode, It's but it's a very low good. It is a very low good, um, close to a meh, but not quite because I feel like there are still enough uh, things that happened in this episode to really kind of keep my interest. But definitely there were not many things that went down in this episode. Like, you know, we basically had two different groups in this episode. Um, we had the hospital group and we had the princess group. Out of the two, I have to say, I think that the hospital storyline obviously was the best, but, you know, I had my problems with that a lot, like, you know, and I had a lot of problems with this episode, you know, um, and you guys know, I mean, I love Walking Dead, Walking Dead is the best show that has ever been on TV, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it forever, because honestly, it really is, Walking Dead is the best show on TV ever, but, I do not like this episode, okay? I'm not gonna sit here and say that I liked it when I didn't. You guys know, I'd be, I'm always honest with you guys in my reviews. Uh, I do not like this episode. Season 10, in my opinion, the second half of season 10, blew my mind all the way through every episode. Just really, really, uh, really enjoyed them. Um, but this episode really let me down. It really did. Uh, and it's like, like I said, it's not because it is the final episode out of nowhere. I'm not treating this like a finale, because I know it wasn't intended to be. I'm just saying as a build-up episode to a finale, really? That's what you got? Like, honestly, because let's... Okay, before we actually review it, let's compare it to some of the other second-last episodes, okay? Um, you know, This Sorrowful Life from Season 3, Better Angels from Season 2, um, you know, uh, let, let's see here, uh, Try from Season 5 with Rick versus Peter? I mean, like, <laughs> it's just like... Those were some great episodes, you know, um, great lead-ins to the finale. Even, even season eight had a better second last episode, you know, Simon, finally the time where he wants to go against Negan and he wants to kill him and he makes the attempt in the episode and Negan and Simon fight it out and it's super exciting. Um, and there's a bunch of things that happen in that episode. Last year's second last episode, we had the, the, the pikes. We had the pike scenes with all the heads on pikes and everything like that. Alpha really marking the territory and all that stuff. You compare that to how this went, like, literally compare any other second last episode of The Walking Dead season to this. There is no comparing. You know, every single one is better, like, honestly, than this. This is my most disappointing, uh, this is the most disappointing second last episode of Walking Dead, at least for the seasons. Um, 
maybe mid seasons you can make another case you know they're episode seven so maybe you know a little less but whatever um i just don't like this episode and i'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys now we begin this episode with the princess okay so i really let's say one thing right off the bat i like the princess i i do i i actually do i think she's a she's a cool character in this episode um i think she is you know a fun character and i enjoyed watching her in this episode maybe one of the best parts about the episode is getting to know more about her character and kind of what she's about i like that i i do um all of that stuff I thought was good. Uh, we get to see her pretty much, um, you know, we get the opening minutes, of course, and we get her kind of pointing the gun and all that stuff, uh, and she kind of scares away the horses, which later we see the uh, landmines. Now, that is a tie-in to Fear the Walking Dead with Morgan, um, which I think is cool. You got the landmines and stuff, and uh, the princess trying to figure out, she's like stepping, and she's trying to figure out where they are, uh, and Yumiko just wants to kill her. Ezekiel wants to give her a chance. Eugene is kind of on the fence about it. Um, and basically, she does get them out of there from the landmines eventually uh, by throwing a thing of water, and then you see the explosion and stuff. So uh, she gets them out, but apparently what happened is she just wanted to spend time with them. She, uh, you know, there, she could have gone another direction, and she just wanted to spend time with them. She wanted to get to know them, and she didn't want them to leave. Uh, so I kind of felt bad for her at that point, you know, and and they, they did too, you know, you can tell, Eugene as well and everybody. Um, and basically she, uh, you know, she shows them the, uh, the place with the bikes, um, and Yumiko asks her to come along, basically. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. You, uh, uh, Eugene, Ezekiel, uh, Princess, and Yumiko are all going to the Commonwealth now. Uh, asks her to come along. And, you know, I like the princess in this episode a lot. You know, the, 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 the princess in this episode, you can tell she just wants to be with people. She, she doesn't really care about anything else. And, you know, what's the harm in that? I, I love the princess. I think she's an awesome character so far. Um, I'm not annoyed with her so far. No, I'm not. Uh, maybe some people are going to disagree with me in the comments. I'm not annoyed with her character right now. I really do like like her character a lot. Um, I think she's going to do good for the show if she kind of stays, you know, normalish, you know? Um, and hopefully they don't go the comic route with her and just make her, like, super annoying. Because so far in the TV show, I don't think she is. Um... So that's the stuff with them. Uh, so hopefully in the next episode, we'll get to see them go to the Commonwealth and all that kind of stuff, and, uh, you know, that'll be good. But we're going to have to wait a little bit, so that's, that. you know, there is that. Um, yeah, so we get to also see in this episode, um... The characters at a hospital. So they abandon Alexandria, basically. Uh, they go in, inside this, like, hospital, and they're all kind of, like, uh, in the hospital. You see a cat, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, and you basically just get dialogue, this dialogue, that, and not much else going on. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's not a great way to kind of set up your finale with just a bunch of slow dialogue scenes. Um, have a few of them, sure, but why make it the whole episode? You know, nothing happened in this episode aside from two things, and that is... Aaron and Alden getting captured, that was pretty shocking for me, uh, but, but at the same time, it wasn't, and I, I, I kind of felt like they may have done that and something like that, um, and then the other thing is when Beta leads the horde to the hospital at the end of the episode, it's kind of like an old crop type situation, it's like, oh my god, what's gonna happen next, but it's like, you know, I don't know, because we don't have the finale next week, it kind of makes me not as hyped, like, you know, I don't know, um, it doesn't, I don't know, it, but, but even still, even if we had the finale next week, I still wouldn't say this is a strong episode, um, just as a kind of, just as a, you know, a big fan of Walking Dead, just talking to a Walking Dead fan perspective here, I think they've done way better jobs with their other lead-ins to the finale than this. That's just my opinion. Uh, maybe it's because they did so much this season, they did so many action scenes in the second half and stuff, that maybe they just want to kind of chill for an episode. But, you know, give us something, still. Like, honestly, I don't know. Uh, so, basically, they leave, and then uh, Beta comes in with the whispers, and Beta is losing it. You know, they they see that they left Alexandria, so they take the horde out of there pretty quickly. Uh, you have Aaron and Alden, who are in the tower, uh, which which I, I guess we can kind of call the tower are we supposed to say that it's referring to, um, you know, the tower in Alexandria that they're standing on? Like, it's like that we see for two seconds. Like, comic fans, you'll know that I'm super disappointed with this episode. And I'm not really going to say why, because I know there's some people that don't read the comics. But there is something in the comics that happens to a certain character on a tower. Um, and in the TV show version, this episode obviously being called The Tower... Um, we don't see anything to do with that. We don't even see that character ba barely in the episode. Uh, it's it's so weird. Like I I really I don't want that character to 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 die. But at the same time, it's like. Well, if you're not going to do it to that character, use that moment in the episode called The Tower. And if you don't want to kill that character, like you did in the comic, kill somebody else in this episode. Do something big to end off the episode or something, because, man, they disappointed me with that as well. Um, here I was getting ready to see, okay, the ending of the episode is going to be a death. I know it. I just know it. No, no, nothing at all. Because you give me the, the, the Tower title, I'm going to think that. They tricked me. They, they got me. I'll admit that. But, man, like, that was the only thing 
thing that was going to save the episode, honestly. And it, it, it didn't come. It didn't happen. And I'm disappointed, honestly, you know. Um... Just my opinion. So I really do want to discuss as well beta. So basically we have some walkers that are kind of uh, walking and it seems like the walkers are talking to him. I don't know what they were doing there. You know, like I guess they're trying to show that beta is going crazy. So I kind of like that aspect. But, you know, the walkers talking, beta talking to them. I don't know. I really did not care for that scene. Now we do have the whisperer that as well kind of runs away from beta because uh, she's kind of scared of him. He kind of just lost it. Uh, and we get to see Daryl and Judith in this episode. Uh, and, you know, and I'm going to get to that in a minute because I really, there's something that really bugs me with them as well. Um, but basically we have the whisperer there. Uh, she's not given any kind of information. So Daryl just, just shoots her. And I'm like, whoa, like, holy crap. Um, and, and Judith, the Judith is kind of like, you just shot her. Like, and he's like, I didn't have any information for us anyway. So, uh, she wants to learn what Daryl does basically, and uh, she left a note for Gabriel and all that stuff, so, you know, that's fine. Uh, and, um, yeah, so anyway, we get to see Daryl uh, and Judith kind of talk a little bit and about Michonne. Daryl tries to reach Michonne a little bit. I did like the the, the comment about kind of how it feels like the old days, but then just kind of out there in the open. I like that. I think that's kind of cool. Um, but, uh, you know, but things are very different now, obviously. But I like that. That was one of my little favorite parts of the episode right there. But Judith just saw, tells Daryl that Michonne is out there to help new people. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Honestly, like, I was, like, sitting here. I was... I, on the edge of my seat, I was ready for her to say something about Rick or something, and it never came. And I'm like, wow, really? Okay. And then as soon as Judith didn't tell Daryl about Rick, I'm like, okay, we're going to get the water tower death. We're going to get something. It's going to be fine. It's going to be totally fine. We're going to get something cool to, for, to see for this episode, something to talk about. No, we didn't get anything. We, we didn't get anything. And it, it really just disappointed me overall. And I'm sorry, guys. Honestly, I hate to hate on this episode as much as I am, but I'm just pointing out that a lot of things I just didn't like about the episode at all. Um, so anyway, the, the stuff with Daryl and Judith, I love both characters, you know, but I hated how Judith didn't say anything. But at the same time, I will defend it because it sounds like Judith is worried that Daryl would leave. So there is that. Okay, so I'm about a 50-50 with that. 50% I'm like, I'm upset because I, I don't understand why she didn't say anything. The other 50% is like, okay, I get it because she doesn't want Daryl to leave because Daryl's all she got. Okay, makes sense. Um, That makes a lot of sense. But, you know, I just, I don't really understand why she had to kind of like keep it because we know full well that if, if they're saving Judith saying something to Daryl in the finale about Rick, maybe I won't be as upset. But when they, they really made it seem like they were going to do something in this episode as soon as they started talking about Michonne and all that stuff, and it never came. It never came. And I just, I'm disappointed. Honestly, guys, I really am. Uh, so we get to see also a scene in this episode between Negan and Lydia, which this is the best part of the episode for me. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you. This was my favorite part of the episode. The acting in this scene with Lydia and Jeffrey Morgan, amazing, amazing. He just lets her hit him, and it, um, it, it, it's awesome. And then she kind of, she's hitting him, she's angry, and then the, the crying part, and Negan's hugging her, and you can tell like, he just feels so bad for Lydia, and it's like, man, the acting in that scene was incredible. I can't say anything else about it aside from the acting was absolutely amazing from Lydia and Jeffrey D. Morgan in this episode. Absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um... So yeah, uh, now we do also get to see a scene between Carol and Kelly in this episode, and that's another thing. I don't care, okay? Here's the thing. I would like this scene if it actually if it actually made sense. Why on earth is Kelly so nice to her? I don't understand it. I don't understand. If that was my if my sister was out there and I didn't know if she was dead or alive, I'm sorry, but I would not. I would be like, I will talk to you once my sister comes back. And if she doesn't come back, don't go anywhere near me, okay? For your own, for your own uh, safety and, and for my own sanity, please stay the hell away from me, honestly. Um, Carol and, 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 and Kelly, and that's, that's just me. That's just me talking from a perspective. If that was a family member of mine and that was because of Carol, no. I'm, ju I'm just saying, you know, like, it's, no, no thank you at all, no, I would not go with Carol in that car, I would not do anything, and I, yeah, I, I would, I would hold a grudge against Carol, I would, uh, just like a lot of the fans are right now, um, and it bugs me that, that Kelly, Kelly should be the most upset out of anybody, and she is the one person that is not, that is not mad at her, Daryl, everybody else, they're not really that happy with Carol right now, because of what she did with Connie, but then her own sister is somehow happy with it, like, 
it doesn't make sense, guys. I'm sorry. It does not make sense. Um, I, I, I know Kelly's trying to be nice to her and stuff like that, but I don't care. That does not make any logical sense that she would just be having a nice conversation with her and all that stuff. I'd be like, I don't care. I don't care about what, what you did in your past, Carol. I don't care about any of that. My sister is probably dead because of you. I'm not. Like, no, that's that's it. That's, that's all there is to say, you know? Um... So dumb. So anyway, uh, and basically, okay, so we get to see Aaron and Alden, of course, the walkies out, and this actually was a really entertaining part of the episode, where they, they try to turn around, and they notice the, the, the herds going another direction, they're like, oh crap. They go around, and you see the whispers, and they're surrounded. So... What's going to happen with Aaron and Alden? That's definitely going to be a discussion topic for this week. But uh, And I actually enjoyed the, the stuff with them in this episode maybe more than anything else. I really liked it. it. I thought it was really entertaining. And when they got surrounded, I was like, crap, this isn't good, you know? So... Yeah, uh, so that that was all good stuff for me right there as well. Uh, and then we also get to see, so I'm, I'm trying to kind of think of like all the dialogue scenes. I pretty much covered pretty much most of them, I think, right? Uh, and, oh, we do get to see Jules in this episode with Luke as well, which I, I think that's kind of cool. Uh, and no, I don't think she's an undercover whisperer. I don't think so. Um, at this point, I think it, it wouldn't it wouldn't really matter if she was, so I don't think they're going to do it. Because um, I know there's been that theory going around that could Jules be another, you know, spy whisperer. I think Dante's enough. Let's not, you know, do overboard with that. Um, and then we get the end of the at the ending of the episode where basically the cat leads beta to uh the hospital so uh skidmark 2.0 leads beta to the uh the, the hospital and i really like the shot with all the walkers coming towards the hospital though i have to say that um and beta's about to go in there and freaking kill everyone so um i absolutely love that i absolutely love it and beta is furious right now and we're gonna have to see how that goes but man i really have to say that ending scene was really good the Aaron and Alden scene getting surrounded was really good. Everything else, I don't know. I just didn't really care about it, you know? Uh, I'm not gonna, like, you know, I, I hate doing reviews like this, guys, because I usually sit here and talk about how great the episodes are, but when there's an episode like this, I just can't. Like, I can't pretend. And I didn't like the episode, guys. I'm just gonna say it. So, um, I don't think it was horrible. It's, it's still a low good, because it is still, there's still some good aspects of the episode. Getting to know the princess, getting to see more of Alden and Aaron, uh, them getting captured, I thought was really good. And the ending scene, the, 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 when you see the herd coming for the hospital, I liked all that. But the rest of the episode, I'm just like, so, so many things just either annoyed me, didn't make sense, or just dragged out. Like, you know, it, and it, it was actually, uh, it wasn't even an extended episode either. So that just, that's also says that they just didn't know what to do for a lot of the episode. You know, you know, they had a few points they wanted to hit in this episode, but then there was all this fill out time that they just filled with dialogue. And some of that dialogue worked, some of it didn't. You know, that's just my opinion. But um, some of it was good, some of it was bad, and that's really just the way to say it. So uh, whenever the finale comes out, guys, and you know, we're definitely gonna do some, some videos on the finale. There was not a promo for the finale at this time. Time. However, this video is going to be going out Sunday night. Uh, so if there's a promo by the time you guys see uh, by, by by the time you guys see this review on Sunday night, uh, the predictions video will not be covering anything about the promo because I have not seen the promo at this time. But I'm still going to do a predictions for the finale because you know we always do a review and predictions kind of back to back. It's kind of our routine here. We kind of do a review and we do a predictions for the finale. Really, no matter what. So. Um, yeah, but it is going to be tough since we don't have too many clips for the finale. But anyway, guys, I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this episode more than I did because I really didn't like it. And, you know, I wanted to like it. I really did. But I, I think the finale is what we're really all waiting for. And I think the finale... I do. I have faith the finale is going to be really, really good. I think the finale is really going to... It's going to blow our minds, I have a feeling. But, but this episode itself man, super disappointing. I'm just going to say that. So, um, anyway, write your comments in the comment section below, guys. Of course, if you're new here, click the subscribe button soon to send my Walking Dead views. Follow Dan's Walking Dead reviews on Instagram, guys. And, of course, I'll see you guys really soon for another Walking Dead video. Of course, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And, of course, peace out. Anybody